Let's get to the news. Today was International Women's Day, while yesterday belonged to a woman who decided to stop being international. Britain's Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan Markle sat down for an interview last night with Oprah Winfrey, or as British tabloids reported it, Harry's kidnapper speaks. So last night, Meghan Markle was interviewed by Oprah, and I wanted to do a whole piece about it, but we ran out of time. Well, how much time do we have? One minute. That's all the time I need. Start, Start the, the clock. clock. First of all, if you thought they were going to come on TV and not really spill the tea, then you would be wrong as butt because they said everything. So, like, they were both like, it's not the queen who was racist. It's this group of people who run the monarchy called The Firm. And I was like, are you talking about that rap group with Nas and Foxy Brown in it? Then I don't know who The Firm is. Also, someone here is racist and it's not the ancient white woman. Okay. 41 seconds. So, Megan said that when Tabloid said that she made Kate cry, that that was a lie. Kate really was the one who made her cry. But no one in the monarchy stood up for her. Can you stand? 31 seconds. Okay, so Meghan Markle said, when I was pregnant with Archie, people were concerned about how dark the baby would be. And Oprah was like, who said that? And she was like, I was going to say. And you best believe that was the right thing to do because let me catch who said that and see what happens. You're going to run out of time. I can make it, I can make it. Okay, they took away their security detail. And then, of all the people in the entire world, it was Tyler Ten, Perry who let them stay nine, in his house. Eight, and they got cut off. Seven, They're having six, a little bitty baby five, girl. Four, Pierce Morgan is three, insane now. Everybody, give it up for Amber. <laughs> and now she's gonna slowly scoot away. Oh, no, she's not. All right. <laughs> the Senate on Saturday passed President Biden's $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief package, which includes a $1,400 stimulus check. So go out and buy yourself something nice, like November's rent. The NBA All-Star Game was held in Atlanta last night, though if they hold an All-Star Game in Atlanta and the players can't go to strip clubs, did it really happen? <laughs> Billionaire philanthropist Mackenzie Scott is reportedly remarried following her 2019 divorce from Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. And to add insult to injury, the registry is on eBay. <laughs> Nine apes at the San Diego Zoo recently became the first non-humans to receive the coronavirus vaccine, which is pretty amazing. How'd they figure out the website? <laughs> That's right, nine apes at the San Diego Zoo recently received the coronavirus vaccine. So. I guess they can come over now. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> President Biden's dog, Major, was reportedly sent back to the Biden family home in Delaware last week after biting a member of White House security. See, under the last administration, that kind of behavior would have made you press secretary. That's right, President Biden's two dogs, Champ and Major, were moved back to Delaware after aggressive behavior at the White House, and yes, Oprah will be interviewing them next Sunday at 8 p.m. The Justice Department is reportedly investigating connections between a recently arrested Capitol rioter and former President Trump's longtime friend and advisor, Roger Stone. Oh, well, I hope they're able to connect the dot. It was announced yesterday that President Biden will deliver a primetime address on Thursday to mark the one-year anniversary of the coronavirus lockdown. Then on Friday, he will deliver an address to mark the one-year anniversary of everyone downloading Duolingo and never opening it again. A bipartisan group of lawmakers is set to introduce legislation this week calling for research into the coronavirus pandemic's impact on mental health. Well, let me save you a few bucks. It's been bad. This morning I cried because capital I's are so frequently confused for lowercase l's. I cried. A pastor in Missouri has taken a leave of absence after he told women in a recent sermon that while not everyone can look like Melania Trump, quote, you don't need to look like a butch either. So it wasn't a leave of absence so much as a sprint for his life. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot announced yesterday that the Cubs and White Sox will be able to fill their stadiums at 20% capacity on opening day, or as the Mets call that, an attendance record. Things may turn around, Steve, but until they do, it'll be a steady dose of those. Trump's gone, Steve. We don't have much. According to a new report, dozens of people at a Florida vaccination site falsely claimed they were healthcare workers to receive the coronavirus vaccine, though the local Halloween store had its biggest march ever. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg said yesterday that smart glasses could help fight climate change by replacing the need for in-person meetings and gatherings, kind of the way Facebook replaced the need for in-person bullying. According to reports, the controversial Looney Tunes character Pepe Le Pew 
will not be featured in Space Jam 2, a move that has really angered some conservatives. <laughs> That's right, the Looney Tunes character Pepe Le Pew will not be featured in Space Jam 2. He's been me pewed. Scollins, Amber. Scollins wrote that. Can we send um, some seamless food to Scollins' apartment? And have the delivery guy slap him? <laughs> the infamous Times Square naked cowboy was arrested in Florida over the weekend while performing at a motorcycle rally. Though, if you're a guy in tidy whiteies playing acoustic guitar at a biker rally, getting arrested is probably the best case scenario. According to a new survey, 65% of Americans say that they sneak healthy ingredients into food for their loved ones. Well, that explains hot dog night. And, and finally, scientists... That was Scollins as well, Steve. He's the Mets of late night writers. And finally, scientists have discovered that injured, uh, injured sea slugs, excuse me, Injured sea slugs are able to grow new hearts and regenerate entirely new bodies, and in some cases, even a mullet. <laughs> President Biden announced today that he secured 100 million more doses of the Johnson & Johnson coronavirus vaccine, though it might be too little too late unless they can be administered via Jell-O. When asked by a reporter yesterday if President Biden's dog, Major, would be euthanized after biting a member of the White House security staff, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki confirmed he will not be put down, but the reporter refused to let it go. <laughs> I should stress, these are never photoshopped. We get animals in here, we make the tiny hats. It takes up the biggest chunk of our day. The House passed the $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief bill today. Democrats are calling it a landmark bill that will give Americans desperately needed financial assistance during a pandemic, while Republicans are calling it not what Dr. Seuss would have wanted. The New York Times published a profile yesterday on Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, and even Schumer only made it halfway through. We get it. I'm boring. According to a new profile in the New York Times, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer cried so hard watching the movie Free Willy that his daughters left the theater out of embarrassment. Meanwhile, Mitch McConnell threw a harpoon at the screen. <laughs> that blubber is a valuable source of energy. Ah, 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 ah. I'll get you well. <laughs> President Biden is scheduled to meet virtually on Friday with the leaders of Japan, India, and Australia to discuss climate change and the coronavirus pandemic, and they'll be relieved to finally talk to a U.S. president who doesn't interrupt every few minutes to ask so what time is it where you are? A new study has concluded that due to the steep reduction in traffic, Boston is no longer the most congested city in the country. And if you're wondering what happened, literally everyone's license is suspended. <laughs> DUI? Yeah. You? Yeah. <laughs> a murder suspect in California was mistakenly released from jail yesterday due to a data entry error. Dibs, said Netflix. And finally, according to the Washington Post, people deprived of physical intimacy due to the coronavirus pandemic or signing up to hug cows at sanctuaries across the country. So, I don't know, maybe try that? Well, it's been exactly one year since we've had an audience, and I gotta say, I really miss the laughs, the energy, and of course, keeping the lost wallets. <laughs> President Biden delivered his first primetime address today to speak about the past year and present a hopeful vision of America's return to normal, and then Republicans were given 30 minutes for a rebuttal. The Senate yesterday confirmed Judge Merrick Garland as Attorney General, and so Merrick Garland's long con finally pays off. All I gotta do is wait for a Supreme Court justice to die, get nominated to replace them, but bitch, she's never gonna let that happen during an election year. So then I just wait for Hillary to win. But what? They don't know? She loses. So then I wait four more years while some idiot appoints three more justices, but then when he screws up the pandemic and loses, I get a pretty cool job, not as good, but pretty cool, from the next guy. Merrick, you're a genius! <laughs> Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said yesterday that the enhanced security around the Capitol in the wake of January's attack reminds him of his, quote, last visit to Kabul. You mean Kabul, Afghanistan, where the Democratic government had to be protected from the terrorist faction whipped into a frenzy by misinformation and a twisted view of their own religion? Yeah, I guess I can see that. President Biden signed the 1.9 uh, trillion. We got million up there. I don't think that would have done it. 
I think with Wally, let's uh, let's take a shot at Wally there with the 1.9 million. That's what the Republicans voted for. Yeah, yeah. So I was hoping for. President Biden signed the 1.9 trillion dollar coronavirus relief bill today. Finally, those dudes in uncut gems didn't have to wait this long for their money. It's coming. It's co I just need a couple more days. I got Syria breathing down my neck. Apparently, my dog bit a guy. It's been a rough week. In response to a reporter's question, Britain's Prince William said that the royal family is very much not a racist family. Then he clarified, we hate all of you equally. In a new statement released yesterday, former President Trump said that Americans likely wouldn't have the coronavirus vaccine if it weren't for him and added, quote, I hope everyone remembers. But the one he released today was even sadder. Former President Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, is reportedly planning to write a book about his work in the Trump administration. Look for it in bookstores sometime after the statute of limitations runs out. According to the latest numbers, the world's largest theater chain, AMC Entertainment, lost $4.6 billion in 2020, and experts say it could take up to 10 large popcorns to make it back. <laughs> former First Lady Michelle Obama said in a recent interview that she and former President Obama, quote, never want to experience winter again, said a woman in Florida, but what can you do when the winter is inside you? And finally, the streaming service Disney Plus this week made several classic movies unavailable to children under seven years old because they depict racist stereotypes, but adults can still find them under Walt's favorites. <laughs> Told you it was worth sticking around. That was a monologue, everybody.